Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here, how are you doing? Today I'm in the mood to tell you a story and this is going to be a story that a lot of people have asked me to tell and I actually had a video about this on the channel but the video was just so stupid and I was talking in a way that is not like me at all that I was just like you know what I'm going to remake this I am just going to tell this story again because I feel like at least I'm not trying to be cool anymore back then when I recorded the video of my weed story and how I greened out I was really trying to be cool about it like yeah I was like the coolest person back then no anyway I've grown up I, I, I don't want to do that I was really kind of a nerd and so today I'm going to be telling you the story of how I greened out and to back that up, I'm going to tell you how I started smoking weed, for how long I smoked, everything that I felt, and the day that I decided I was not going to smoke anymore. And so to accompany me on this story today, I have... It sounded like I was introducing a person or something like that. No, it's just my cigarillo. Today I'm going to be having a cigarillo just to, you know, chill. This is going to get me a really good buzz, which I am looking forward to. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot my drink. I'm gonna... I'll be right back. Drink has been acquired. It is my favorite soda. It is a Guadana can that I just now dropped to the ground. So there's a very high chance that this is going to explode. Oh, it's fizzling. All right, it's all good. Cheers. So I'm gonna light this up and we're gonna start the story. Let's go. So let me paint you a picture, all right? I was... 18 years old it is the summer of 2019 and it has been two straight years of me staying at home studying my life was I went to school I got off of school at 3 p.m. and I would study all the rest of the day I had no friends I had no life I just studied because I really wanted to get into psychology in university which I did so I was I just spent two years straight studying. I was anxious, I was stressed, I was burnt out, I was tired. I was ready to party, as some may say. <sighs> Comes the summer of 2019, it is around July. All of my exams are over, I cannot do anything else to get me into university. And so I, I'm like, you know what, I spent the last two years just doing so much for school that I just want to like try things out now i want to drink i want to party i want to try weed i want to try cigarettes which of all of these the only thing that i did at that time was try weed but you know it was a start for me it was a start so july 2019 i'm hanging out with this guy friend um a couple times a week we are close friends ever since 10th grade and we were just hanging out he was smoking weed as many other of my classmates were and i was very interested in it but i didn't know how to approach the subject i didn't like i felt shy and embarrassed to ask him to try because i i just thought he was gonna say no or something like that i was always anxious that people were not gonna allow me to do things I don't know I was very socially awkward and I didn't have many social skills at this point I still don't but I'm just you know putting the painting the picture for you so one day we are hanging out we are in a beach in the back of his car we're just talking and he had a little blunt because here in Portugal weed is discriminalized so you can carry up to a certain dosage without you know it being a crime so the only thing that you can really legally have on yourself is like a tiny mini blunt the size of a cigarette which is what he had so we're there he's smoking he's enjoying he looks at me and he's like have you ever tried weed and i was like no and i saw it there i saw my window i saw my opportunity and i said but i would like to try and he's like all right he passes me the joint or the little weed thing i don't know what it was and he just tells me try it and so I did and I do this because at this point I had never smoked anything in my life so I didn't know you had to inhale so <laughs> I do this and he's already kind of chilled in the back of the car so he's not really noticing that I'm not inhaling so I'm just taking hits basically wasting his blunt and all of a sudden it's like maybe five minutes later he looks at me and he's like are you not feeling anything because he knew it, this was my first time smoking you know so i should be getting some type of reaction or response or tell him something like oh i really like this i really don't like this but i was just like 
no, I'm not feeling anything. I guess weed just doesn't do anything to me. I'm too cool for weed. I don't know. I, I God complex is what I had at the time. And so he's like, show me how you're smoking. And I do the same thing again. I take a hit and I just exhale it without inhaling it, you know. And he's like, oh, <clears throat> that is why you are not feeling anything. And he showed me what I should do to get some sort of sensation and feeling. And he inhales and he teaches me how to inhale the, the joint, the blunt, the smoke, whatever. And I inhale. And I was like, okay, now that I've learned how to inhale, I want to really take a big fat hit as my first hit of this blunt. And I take the fattest hit like, like this. Like I really pull it, you know? And immediately I fall like to the back to the back of the seat, you know, I'm just like this and I kid, I kid you not I have never felt so numb in my entire life. I had zero thoughts in my brain at the time It was just I was flabbergasted. I didn't know that was possible me being a super anxious person Finally feeling a moment of peace inside of my brain. There's people talking outside. I think I can hear them I was like thinking to myself, I could not verbalize it because I was just really slow enjoying it, you know, in the back of the seat. I was, li I was like, wow, this is what I want to feel a lot more times than just this one, you know, I, I just feel no thoughts, I feel completely relaxed, I'm at the back of the seat, I'm just thoroughly enjoying my experience, you know, and he just looks at me and he's like, he giggles or something, I don't know, I was so out of it that I didn't even understand what was going on. So that night, I took a couple more hits, I enjoyed my time and I decided that I too wanted to become a weed smoker because I really enjoyed that experience, you know? For the next three weeks, we smoke like four, five nights a week and we're enjoying our time. I was becoming a true weed smoker. I had one of those little like fanny packs or whatever that had a lot of pockets and I had like papers and filters and I was learning how to roll and all of these things. I was really getting into it because I was like, yeah, this is what I'm going to use as my medicine because I don't want to be an anxious freak all the time and I want to find myself some I want to find myself something that can calm me down. And so I thought I had found it there. So we're smoking like a couple nights, we're really enjoying our time, we're hanging out a lot with other friends, we used to hang out at his mother's, he ha she had like a store, it was a kind of a, a small grocery store and it had a basement, so we would go to the basement of the store, bring candy, bring energy drinks, we would just blast music, I would just be like smoking and dancing around and like chilling, super like high out of my mind but feeling really good, um, just eating, the thing that I craved the most when I was smoking was like lollipops filled with sugar inside of Monster Energy drinks and I, I would just lick them, it was everything to me, I loved it, it was the, the best time of my life. I was having a really good time, you know, and I thought, yeah, this is just what I'm gonna be doing. Now, I don't know what we are smoking, we were smoking, if I'm gonna be honest with you, because we were broke, out of high school, we didn't have any money, what we were smoking was like his dad's weed, from what I understand, I still don't really know this to this day, so I don't know what was in there, I don't know what type of weed it was, I have no clue. Whatever he had is whatever we smoked, and he didn't know either, so I guess we were just enjoying our time. But then, there comes the day where everything went wrong, basically. This is a day where I had been feeling super, super anxious all day. It was kind of an everyday thing for me. I just would shake all day. I was not feeling good. I was on some medications that made me shake a lot and shiver and just be cold and anxious all the time. I truly feel like these medications were not helping at all in my situation. But yeah, I decided, you know, tonight I'm gonna go smoke with my friend. I'm gonna have a good time, like all of the other days that I've been doing this. It's going to be enjoyable. I'm going to be relaxed. It's gonna be a fun time. So, I decided to dress really cute for what I thought was cute at the time. I had my vintage My Chemical Romance t-shirt that cost me like 55 euros. That was my favorite t-shirt of all time. I had my fanny pack, my favorite clothes. I was like, yeah, today is going to be the day. I'm gonna have such a fun time, whatever. We go to the basement and I start smoking, as I usually do. Dancing around, you know, smoking, listening to music, whatever. Doing the things that we used to do. Now, 
there comes a time when I take a hit and suddenly I'm not feeling good anymore. I'm sitting down at a little bed that he had in the basement or a little sitting, it was like a mattress that was on the floor, you know, kind of like my bed right here. And I was just sitting there and all of a sudden I start feeling my face getting really numb, which was kind of normal, but this was more, it was more aggressive, you know, like I couldn't feel my facial mus muscles, I guess. So I'm laying there and I'm like, oh, this is not feeling that good. It's not feeling like the other days. Like I'm feeling like I'm losing control of my face. It's really weird. All of a sudden, I, I'm not verbalizing this, I'm just thinking it to myself, you know, because I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, because I was trying to be cool about it, you know. All of a sudden, my tongue is out of my mouth, and I cannot put it back in. I cannot control it. I'm just laying there, I'm sitting, and my tongue is like this. And I'm, I start to get really worked up and really worried, because I could not control my tongue, I could not put it back in. I was high out of my mind, I was so slow, like the concept of time was completely out of my perception you know I was just standing there freaking out because I was thinking to myself I just went to the other side like I cannot put my tongue back in I cannot feel my face I cannot do anything just thinking these things to myself inside of my head you know and I start getting really worried because I've always heard my parents say you know the drug addicts they go to the other side and they never come back and that's why they really look very weird when you see them walking around the street and they look completely checked out i thought that's what was happening to me so i was just laying there my tongue out i could not speak i could not do anything i'm just feeling really really anxious because i feel like i'm paralyzed and i'm never going to be normal again and he looks at me and i'm looking very weird i'm like literally with my tongue out i couldn't put it back in my in my mouth and he sees that I'm not feeling good at all and he tells me, you know, I'm going to take you to see the ocean we're gonna have a good time in nature, maybe you're going to feel a little bit better he didn't really know what to do with me because I was just acting weird like this and I, I probably looked really worked up because I was feeling very anxious I don't remember a lot of this but I know he puts me in the back of his car and we are driving to the beach which is like a 10 minute drive now let me take a sip of my Guarana now, on the drive there, I start seeing red and blue flashlights and I'm like, the police is chasing us, we are going to get arrested because I, I, ha I was convinced that, you know, police was chasing us because we were doing like some really bad crime. I was not aware of the laws in Portugal yet, so I didn't really know if like the, the little blunt that we had was like more of the dosage than it was legal, which it was not, it was way below, but I didn't know this. And so I was like, we're being chased by the police, just thinking this to myself in my head, we're going to go to jail, this is not going well, like in the back of his car, just freaking out of my mind. We get to the beach, he takes me out of the car and seats me in a little... Uh, like viewing point where I could look at the ocean and I'm still freaking out I'm still seeing these flashlights which I'm hallucinating by the way none of this is happening in the real world and I'm just telling him you know we need to get out of here um, they are chasing us they are coming after us we really need to go this is not a good thing for us to be doing I was probably saying all of this like really slowly because I don't even remember most of this I'm just recollecting things that have been told to me you know so he then decides that being on the beach is not working and he is going to take me back to the basement and see what we can do to make myself feel better we get back there i don't remember the drive i just remember waking up there and i'm feeling really bad really anxious i feel like i'm paralyzed i cannot move myself i'm just not feeling well whatsoever i'm really scared that i'm just going to stay like this forever all of a sudden he remembers something me being an anxious person and sharing all of my anxieties with him at, the, at the, this point in my life, he was one of my closest friends, he remembers that a lot of the times I couldn't eat during the day. I had no appetite and every time I tried to eat I would feel really sick because of my anxiety. And so he asks me, have you eaten today? Did you eat anything today? And I said no. And he goes up to the grocery store, which we were in the basement of the grocery store, grabs a bag of like bread, like loaf bread, he just starts taking pieces of the bread and shoving them in my mouth, giving me monster energy, giving me water, anything to like fill my stomach, because he knew that you need to eat before you smoke weed, or else you can, can green out like I, like I did. And he starts shoving me with food, with this bread, he starts shoving me with water, and all of a sudden I start feeling really nauseous. Now, I was not verbalizing my thoughts well, I was not speaking very coherently, 
I just remember that in my mind, I wanted to ask him for a bag because I felt like I was going to throw up, you know? I must have said something that made no sense and so he didn't understand my request soon enough and I ended up throwing up everywhere on my little favorite My Chemical Romance shirt, on my fanny pack, on his mattress, on the floor, like it was a, it was a, it was a party up in there, all right? However, as soon as I threw up, and I'm sorry, I know this is probably TMI and kind of gross, but as soon as I threw up, I started feeling like I could feel my face again, I could put my tongue back in my mouth, I could talk to him and verbalize what I was feeling, and so I just said something along the lines of, oh, I'm feeling so much better, like I, I did a scythe of relief, you know, I don't know how to say this in English, but I, I said like, ah, oh, I'm feeling so much better, you know? I, I got up, I realized what was going on, and I was just like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So there was a little bathroom in the basement. I go to the bathroom, I look at myself, my eyes are almost shut closed, red, with tears coming down because of all the anxiety I had been feeling and me being scared and just the... I'm, I was just really high, you know? I look at myself and I just giggle. I'm like... I'm just looking at myself like... Huh. Like I did something like that, really weird, I don't know. I came back, he was, <laughs> he was cleaning up the mess that I had made. I started helping him because I was feeling more capable now. Keep in mind, I was still extremely high, but I was now capable of helping him and doing things, you know? So I just, I change my clothes, we pull all of my clothes in a bag, they go to the trash, I'm never seeing that My Chemical Romance shirt again, just because he was really high as well, I was really high, so we just, we, I don't know, we just didn't even think of like going to a laundry like place and doing, we, we just put it in the back and threw it away, it was really sad, um, yeah, I really love that shirt. Eventually, we were just chilling in the basement for a little longer while he was getting less high to drive me home. I get home, I lay on my bed and I think to myself, I'm never doing this again, I never want to feel that again. I cannot control my anxiety when I start having anxiety when I'm high and so this is not something that I can do because I just never want to feel this again. At the time I thought that what, what, what happened is that I overdosed on weed, but then that's because I was 18 years old and I didn't know anything. Eventually I realized that the, the correct term is that I greened out, you know? I only realized that last, last year or a couple of years ago actually and the next day, I woke up, I was still really groggy, I still felt very numb, I still felt super slow, and I was just like, yeah, I never want to do that again, man. I don't want to go through the risk of feeling that again, that was really chaotic. I don't know how long the whole process of me greening out was, because I had no concept of per or perception of time, you know, at this point. So I have no clue how long that was, I just know that I was suffering with so much anxiety i was so stressed and it was not a good experience whatsoever you know and i just got so scared from it that day that i never did it again so i smoked weed for a month when i was 18 years old and i swore to never do it again because i just can't control my anxiety you know what am i gonna do so a lot of people ask me you know if i'm open to try it again I don't know. Honestly, I'm not very interested in trying weed. I guess these days I've just really been enjoying smoking my cigarettes, smoking my cigarillos, which I get a buzz from. It's a very controlled buzz. I just feel really relaxed and I know I'm not going to green out on <laughs> cigarillos and cigarettes. I don't know, man. You know, I think weed is not for everyone. And although I really wanted it to be for me, it just wasn't. At until I learned to control my anxiety, I don't want to do it again and I don't want to try it again and then realize that I still cannot control my anxiety and green out again. Ah, that was a hell of a day. Now I laugh about it, but at the time it was really, really scary, really, really stressful, you know? But yeah, that is the story on how I greened out and why I haven't smoked weed ever since I was 18. I am now 22, it's been a couple years, I'm still scared of it, so just is what it is, man. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, I hope it was somewhat entertaining and you know, learn from my mistakes. If you are a person with lots of anxiety, be careful about what you try. And something really valuable that I learned from this is that you need to have a trusted person next to you when you are trying things that you don't know how you are going to react to. I'm glad I had my friend because I've, if I was doing this alone, how would I, how would have, how would have I gotten myself food, you know, I wouldn't even realize that was a thing that I needed to do. 
the thing that made me feel better was him realizing that I needed to have something on my stomach to support the weed, you know? I think, I don't really know about the science of it. But yeah, have a trusted person next to you. Make sure they kind of know you and what you do and what you need. And be careful with what you try. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll be back very soon. And I guess that's all I wanted to say. So yeah, have a nice day. Bye.